I am in Eclipse in a class called Variables, and that is what I want to make, some variables, and show you how to work with them. So, when you declare a variable, you have to tell the compiler what type it's going to be, and give it a name or an identifier. Um, so my types that we are going to work with right at the start here are three different ones, and the first is int, which is for integers, and that means values that are not decimals, but they are numbers. They can be negative, they can be positive, or they can be zero. So say I wanted to represent uh, the number of pigs in a certain famous story. I could create this variable called pigs, and there, now I've got it declared and ready to use. If I want to represent a decimal number, then I will make it type double. And say I want to represent the uh, the speed of the wind that the wolf blows at the pig's house. So let's call this wind speed. Um, I would make that a double because it might be a decimal value, and I want to accommodate that if it's true. And the third type that we're going to start out with is string, and that is for textual information. It could be a word, it could be a phrase, it could be a sentence. All these things could be a string. So let's name um, the wolf using a string. So let's call this wolf name. Alright, so now I've got these three variables. Right now, they have nothing in them. So let's see what happens if I try to print them out. Alright. Right away, you can see that the uh, the IDE doesn't like this, right? It's got my pigs underlined. If I hover over it, it's going to give me a message. The local variable pigs may not have been initialized. Well, how many pigs were there? How's the computer supposed to know it's not psychic? So what I've got to do when I have an integer is if I want to print it out, I have to set it equal to something. Let's do this right. It's three pigs. There we go. If we try to run it now, I have no errors, so it should work out for me. Okay. Three magical. All right. Um, let's see what happens if I try to sprint the wind speed. All right. Oh, same thing. It's telling me that that local variable may not have been initialized. So also with doubles, I've got to give this thing a starting variable. Let's say we've got quite an impressive wolf. We'll say it's 10.5 whatevers. And if I run this thing... I'm going to get, oh, the wind speed out, 10.5. There it is. And let's try the same thing for wolf name. Do oh, Same thing. It doesn't know what the wolf's name is. Let's give this a name, Big Bad. All right, if I run this thing, it's going to show me Big Bad. So that's the name. So. Once I've got a variable created and I set it equal to something, I'm allowed to print it out. I can combine this with some other stuff. So I can say, okay, um, there are, and I can concatenate on this variable, and then the word pigs. Let's see what that looks like when I print it out. There are three pigs. Notice the things that I type as string literals. That means in between quotes come out on the screen exactly as I typed them. And things that I just include the variable name. Note there's no quotes around it. It takes the value that I put in it up here and it spits it out on the screen down here. And all is well with the world. All right, so I've got the basics down here. Now let's talk about what you can and can't name your variables. So let's try some different things. All these guys worked. You'll notice there's something similar about them. They all are mostly lowercase. They start with a letter. There's no spaces and stuff. So let's do some experimenting. So let's say I got my piggy pigs. Let's see. Oh, underlines its problem because we cannot have a space. Okay, let's try putting a hyphen in here. Do we get away with it? No, we do not because that is not legal. How about a underscore? Do I get away with it? Yes, underscores are legal in variable names. Do I get away with, let's say I um, hmm, want to throw a number in here. I like to represent my um, S 
with a 2 because it's fancy. I'm allowed to do that, but what if I want to put the 2 on the front? No, I am not allowed to start with a number. Um, am I allowed to start with a capital letter? Well, technically, yes. It doesn't break syntax rules, but we want to start variable names with lowercase letters, and we want them to represent the thing it is that we're saving. Um, we also want to be concise, so even though this works, you know what, pigs was better because it was shorter, and I will make less mistakes when I type that over and over again, so that is what I want to stick to. Short, descriptive names for my variables, and then everything will work out just fine.